any is that your question yes thank you uh, anymore there's a follow-up master yeah. would there be a time in the near future when people's consciousness would allow them to recognize how master's presence and hard work saved our world could humanity come one day to a state of worshiping tim kotu the loved <laughs> lord of all worlds okay they don't need to worship tim kotu they just need to worship god yeah and worship their own innate god quality if they just be vegan make peace then all the good things will come and then they will think clearly they will remember god more they will be maybe more tolerant to watch each other's beliefs and then the world peace will be more and more lasting and the world will become better and better all the time due to this loving kind energy and power of compassion you see why what I'm saying yes. Yes, master. because these are the power of God compassion love kindness mercy these are the qualities of heaven and if you have it within you imagine how powerful you are huh yes, yes. that's the logic of it do you understand now yes, yes master. master so that's why I say it's not about animals it's about you hmm? it's about us we have to reclaim our noble qualities our high status in heaven as well as on earth starting with on earth and then everything else will come along well mm? then you will remember god more and believe more in god truly not just lip service saying oh god god this and that always say give me this give me that <laughs> and not truly believing in god or worshiping god or loving god if you're loving god or loving a master with high quality then you will have that quality with you. You see, not that God needs you to love him. Yes. Not that the master needs you to love the master. It's just you will be transfer the quality of the master to you. You see that? Yes, yes master. And of course you cannot have it all at once, yeah? But at least it's always improving, improving, yeah? In you. Yes. That's why you become a better person, a better being. And then that's why that's how you become closer and closer to heaven closer to god and a higher level of spiritual wisdom got that okay yes master tim kutu worship tim tim kutu i don't have to if people already uh so god like like that no matter if they worship or not worship <laughs> you see what i'm saying mm-hmm. yes it will it will become like their second nature mm. Mm. Yes. then they will not think that they are worshiping god or loving God anymore. They just do. Just like natural. Just like uh, if you have children, you just love them. Yeah? You don't think, oh, I'm loving my children. Am I not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're in love with a girl or a boy, you wouldn't question. You know it. Yes, Master. You love children, you just know it. You love your children, you know it. You don't question. Yes, Master. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if I answer you so much. Is that... Is that enough? Yes, thank you, Master. You're welcome, love. <laughs> Master often reminds us that it's people's hearts that must change in order to move quicker toward a, a completely vegan and peaceful world. Mm-hmm. Master, will people's hearts be more receptive and transformed through the World Prayer for World Vegan on mm. Thursdays and Sundays? Mm. Or is this a matter that needs other special care and influence? Uh, together, huh? Together. Uh, yes, Master. When people pray, it has an effect, okay? Yes. Yes. In a religion, uh, maybe Christian and also Judaism, there are some days that the followers uh, get together or alone at home to pray for somebody, anyone, okay? Whether or not they know or not know. There's someone who has nobody to to pray for them. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Thương uh, call. I don't know how to say that in uh, in in English. You just just a day. You pray for those souls who are lost, who have no one, who did not believe in God, or who did not do anything good at all. That anybody even remembers them to pray for them. You see, most people when you do something good to somebody, uh, then that somebody feels grateful to you. And when you die or when you have trouble, they pray for you. And then you will have benefit from that. 
if you cannot, because some people maybe are too sinful or too forgetful in life, they never worship God or remember God. They don't know how to pray. They don't pray in time of trouble. If somebody happens to pray for them when they are in a vulnerable state, then they have the effect of that. That's why you see in many religions, when you die or some people die or in their death time or on death day, they invite the priests or the monks yeah, to come and pray. You see that? Yes. Yes. But some people don't have that luxury. Some people don't even know anything about religion. Then that day, the people in Christianity or in Judaism pray for, for these kinds of people, whether or not they know them. But if they know you, they pray for you, that would even be better. Okay? Yes. For the prayers as well as for the prayees. Huh? Okay? Yes. Both are benefit. But the prayers have more benefit than, than the prayees. <laughs> it says so in the Buddhist Sutra. Like if you pray and you have merit from the priest prayer for you, for somebody, then you have two thirds. And the, the one, the dying one or the one who is being prayed for gets one third of the benefit. You got that? Yes, Master. Okay. All right. So both are benefited. <laughs> Good that way. Good that way. Yes. Thank you, Master. Mm, you're welcome. It didn't say so in uh, Christianity, though. It says that in Buddhism. A Buddha lives long, you see. He lived until 80-something years, so he taught many, many, many days, a lot of lectures. Also, Jesus taught a lot, too. But uh, after the Roman authority, they told them to cut many, you know, like meat-eating stuff. So now we have only some remnant of vegetarian, vegan inside in the Bible. Before, Jesus talked a lot about that, and even about reincarnation and all that. They cut them off. Mm. They didn't want it. So at that time, uh, some priests had to do it. Otherwise, they cannot continue their lineage, you know, under this kind of authority. Okay? Mm. Yes, yes. It's a paradox. It's ironic that now the Christian's capital is, is in, in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Before, they are the ones who prosecuted Christians. And now it's the capital is in their country. You know, Vatican? Yes. 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 It's in Rome, yes. <laughs> in Italy. Okay, uh, did I answer you? Yes, Master, thank you. Maybe more, maybe less. <laughs> okay, next. Master, the uh, holiday seasons are a time when people unite in spirit feel more oneness than the rest of the year and more hope and kindness is spread among people. Mm. Master, is, the, is it the tradition that brings people together or there's also some special uplifting energy embedded in the celebrated events and occasions? <sighs> yes and no. You see, holidays are supposed to be holy, you see? Holidays come from holy days, yes? Yes. And people uh, should know better, you know, but uh, instead they do other things opposite to what the Master taught them. Jesus never asked anybody to kill turkeys to celebrate Christmas. Hmm? Yes. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, never asked people to kill any animals to feed him. And now every holiday they kill billions of animals just to celebrate the, the birthday of Christ, for example. Yes. Any, many religions similar, okay? They twisted everything. When the holy things come, come down to this world, they've been twisted, you know, mm. to their liking, yeah? yeah? To their habit. And then it, it spreads out and then others follow. And the religious essence is no more. Now it's just symbolic. And it even was was in the name of God, in the name of Jesus. They killed too many, too many. I don't know if any heaven, it's not logical that any heaven would, would tolerate this kind of suffering, would tolerate this kind of torture to other creations of God, other children of God. You understand? Yes, Master. In the different forms. You can see that on our Supreme Master television. That animals, they have souls, they have intelligence, they have affection, they have love. They have sympathy, yeah? They, they had rescued each other, they're loving each other, even from different species, 
from strangers to each other, you know, like the dog rescued a deer and then kissing him, licking him until he's dry and he became conscious again, for example, like that. Or even the cat, you know, hugging the chicken, the little chicks, let them sleep warm. And even the, the tiger, <laughs> you know, uh, hugging the dogs. My God, they are just like humans, no more, no less. Yes, yes, yes. I have contacted many animals, I know that for sure. It's not just on photos, mm -hmm. okay? I told you already some of uh, the stories about wild animals that I encountered, yeah? Yes, yes. yes. They're so kind, so kind and so sympathetic and so good, so good, so intelligent. You can see, you, you, you look more into the animals' clips that we have every day. Yes, hmm? Master. And you can see animals are exactly like us, if not better. Hmm? Okay? Yes, Master. Mm -hmm. If people became vegan, then of course it's better for everybody, okay? And they will be more receptive, you know, like the, your last question, yes? Yes, Master. Yeah, people are becoming more and more vegan nowadays, yeah? You know, right? Yes. yes the yes, vegan trend has become more exponentially uh, developing, yeah? Yes. Okay, that's a good news, but too slow for me. I won it yesterday. Uh, holiday season. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. If they even want to tell you any religious uh, doctrine in the holiday season, it's just because they want to drag you in to make their religion more crowded. Mm. Mm. If they're not vegan, if they're not enlightened, that's the sole purpose. Or just from ego, just feeling good that they have converted one more person, you know? And then they can be proud telling their priests or their uh, family members, oh, yes, that guy became Catholic because of me. <laughs> or that person became Buddhist uh, because of me. Just, just ego stuff. If they became vegan due to our prayers, that is more effective. You understand? Yes. yes. Because they truly realize the meaning of it, the meaning of being vegan. They truly will develop their love and compassion. Otherwise, it's useless. Yes. Yes. Useless, whether holiday or not. Uh, yes, thank you, Master. Thank you. Yeah.